In today's video, we are building an outbound AI voice agent with none other than Eleven Labs. Hi, this is John from Outbound Callers. Have I caught you at a good time? Yes, you have, John. In my previous video, I showed you building an entire agent on the platform, showcasing exactly how to build an inbound AI agent that can book appointments live over the phone. Since many of you asked how to do this with outbound calling using your 11 Labs agent, I decided to create this tutorial to show you exactly how to do that. Let's dive in. The first step is to, of course, create our own agent for this outbound caller. If you haven't watched my last video already, I highly recommend doing so. We'll be using the agent I built last video in this tutorial later. For now, however, we'll just go ahead and create a blank agent. We can do this by heading over to Conversational AI under Agents. We'll go ahead and create an agent and we'll call this outbound John, for example. We'll choose a blank template, meaning this agent won't be pre-populated with any prompts. We'll hit create an agent. Once you have hit create an agent, you'll be prompted with a screen like this. We'll have six tabs to choose from within this agent, including the agent itself. This is the overall structure of how the agent should operate, its goals, purpose, its parameters, and first message, everything in between, the LLM, temperature, any knowledge base, any tools, and so forth. Next, we have our voice. This is primarily just the voice of the agent. 11 Labs offers thousands of different voice presets that you can load into your own agent. We have analysis, so including an evaluation criteria, any data collection, security, advanced, and a widget, which we won't be using. Again, I recommend checking out my previous video video on 11 labs. I go through all of these tabs extensively explaining what each section does. For today, we're going to be building a simple outbound caller with a very simple system prompt and first message. We won't be incorporating any tools. We'll utilize our last video's appointment booker later in this video just to see how it sounds in an outbound setting. For now, we'll just get into creating a basic structure of our outbound John. The first message, we can do something simple. Hi, this is John from Outbound Callers. Have I caught you a good time? So this first message will be what the agent says when that call is answered immediately. The user will pick up the phone. Our agent will say, hi, this is John from Outbound Callers. Have I caught you at a good time? We're gonna keep the language as English, no additional languages. Of course, we just put in our first message and we're gonna add a system prompt. Your helpful assistant tasked with calling prospects to qualify and appointment. Your goal is to ask a series of qualifying questions which would determine if the user is fit for making an appointment or not. Those questions are as follows. We'll just do some mock questions here. Do you currently make any outbound calls in your business? How many sales staff do you have? Would you be open to exploring how AI can help boost your outbound sales processes? For the LLM here, I'm gonna go ahead and use the fastest one here, Gemini 1.5 flash temperature. We won't change at all. We're not gonna add a knowledge base or any tools. We can go ahead and save this agent scaffold. Keeping in mind that this is just a very basic agent script. If you're looking for a much more extensive agent build. Do check out the previous video. For now, we'll head over to voice. And as you can see, we have a bunch of voices that we can choose from. We can find more voices. We'll leave it as Eric. What's new in 11 Labs is their flash model. It's their newest model recommended for very low latency use cases. And this would include outbound callers. We don't have knowledge retrieval or extensive mid-call functions that we have to call. So using Flash, particularly with outbound, is a good approach. By default, 11 Labs uses Flash V2. We can obviously turn that off. Now, there is two main things that 
we really need to change in regards to outbound calling. Later in the video, we'll be streaming 11 Labs WebSocket audio to Twilio. And to ensure the audio is properly formatted, we need to change this to PCM to ULaw 8000. So we'll hit save. If you don't do this, when we initiate an outbound call, you won't be able to hear anything. It'll be very staticky and we're not gonna get very far. As for the rest of these options, we'll keep them the same. Analysis will keep the same. Security will also keep the same. And advanced, there is one more thing here we need to change that is very important. And that is user input audio format. Again, we're changing from PCM to ULaw 8000. Hit save. And that is pretty much it. Just keeping in mind, user input audio format should be ULaw 8000 under advanced, as well as our voice text-to-speech output format should be the same. Those are the two most important things when creating an 11 Labs agent that you intend to make outbound calls with. We can go ahead and test this agent. Have I caught you at a good time? Yeah, you have, John. Great, thanks for taking my call. I'm reaching out from outbound callers. Do you currently make any outbound calls in your business? Yes. That's great to hear. How many sales staff do you have on your team? 20. That's a sizable team. Would you be open to exploring how AI can help boost your outbound sales processes? Sounds good enough for our scaffold agent as today's video is mainly going to be how to configure any agent to an outbound setting. Now that we have our outbound agent set up, off the bat, you may assume we can go to phone numbers, assign a phone number, we can import one. However, when we've imported our phone number, we only have one option here and that is to an assign an agent to inbound calls. There's no guidance on what we do if we want to make outbound calls here. So what exactly do we do? For this, we need to integrate directly into Twilio with our own custom server. Now, before you get freaked out by custom server, don't worry, I've done all the heavy lifting here. All you have to do is either find the GitHub or Replit links in the description and I'll show you setting up both now. First Firstly, we're going to start with Replit being the most straightforward approach as we don't have to host our server through something like Angrok. We can head over to the Replit link in the description and we'll have my public Replit here, 11 labs outbound. All we have to do here is you can either fork this or hit use template and we can name this whatever we want. We'll use this template and it'll bring up a screen like this, including the readme, which is the instructions on how to set this up. We can get rid of this agent assistant here and press open files on the side here. As the readme suggests, we need to configure our environment variables first. And to do that, we need to add secrets. To run this script, we require our 11 labs agent ID, Twilio account SID, auth token, and a Twilio phone number. We can add these environment variables by going to the dots here and we'll search secrets, so I can spell, and we'll add a new secret with the first one going to be our 11 labs agent ID. This makes it so our server, which will initiate calls via Twilio, knows what 11 labs agents to use and therefore get the WebSocket streaming audio data and then pass that along to our Twilio call. So we can copy the 11 labs agent ID and the value here is going to be, if we go back to our 11 labs and outbound John, the one which we just created, under the name here, you'll see a bunch of numbers and letters. Copy this agent ID, we'll go back here and paste in the value, hit add secret. Next, we know we need our Twilio account SID. We can copy this label here, new secret, the key, and the value, head over to your Twilio account or console, should I say. And under your console, you'll have account info, including the SID. We can copy this, put the value in here, add secret. Next, as per the readme, which you can of course find in the files directory here, we'll need our Twilio authentication token. We'll go ahead and copy this key, add new secret, bang. And again, going over to the auth token, copying that, 
heading back over and pasted that in here. Finally, we'll need to add our Twilio phone number and your Twilio phone number should have been purchased directly through Twilio. If not, if you've already imported it into 11 Labs, we can use that also. And we can paste in our phone number here. Now I should note here, the phone number is not the phone number ID. It is the phone number in E164 format. So the full number plus the numbers area code here. And you'll be able to copy that directly from your Twilio console. And we're pretty much good to go. In terms of the actual structure of this index file, we won't go into this now. I'll go into it when we do the same for GitHub. All we have to do now is we'll go ahead and open a terminal. We can search up terminal or shell, hit enter. I can also add a web view here on the side so we can see it pop up. Type node index.js. This will run and launch our web view. We can go ahead and open this in a new tab. And the URL address here is going to be our endpoint that we can call to distribute outbound calls through. We can copy this. And all we have to do now is make a post request to our replit URL followed by forward slash make outbound call. And we can do this with Postman or we can facilitate this in a make scenario, which I'll do now. In a new scenario, we can type HTTP, make a request and our endpoint is going to be the one we just had paste from our web view there. Only we need to be sure that it's followed by forward slash make out Bound call. Because we are sending some payload information here, this is going to be a post request. We can add a header content type value application JSON and our body type raw again application JSON and our request content here is we're going to be sending the customer number and to do that open curly bracket to colon and our number and this can be whatever number in a moment I'll show you how to dynamically pass a number from a CRM close quotations and close curly bracket now I can submit this HTTP request and it'll call our number with the agent we had just created we'll go ahead and we'll click pass response we'll go ahead and hit OK now if I go ahead and click run this module only Receiving a call, we can answer it. Hi, this is John from Outbound Callers. Have I caught you at a good time? Yes, you have, John. Great, thanks for taking my call. Do you currently make any outbound calls in your business? Yes. How many sales staff have? 20. That's a good number. Would you be open to exploring how AI can help boost your outbound sales processes? Sure. Great, I'd love to get So there you have it, an outbound call simply made using Replit and your 11 Labs agent. Now, what happens if you have a CRM that you wanna start calling certain numbers? Let's take a basic CRM here with name, number, and our call status. What we can do here is we can create a new module, Airtable, search records, and we'll add this as they trigger. We can add our CRM connection here. Select it, our base, untitled, our table, table one. And we can add some sort of formula here where our call status equal to not called. And we'll limit one record here as we have call status equal to not called. That's the number we're wanting to change. We'll just go ahead and confirm that. You'll see the one record not called. And on the other side of this, we'll update a record by its ID after we've called at our base, at our table. And the record ID is going to be from our search record module that we had as our initial one. And we'll change the call status after we've submitted that post request to called. We'll hit OK. And all we have to do now is head into our HTTP module, ensuring we have in our database the correctly formatted number. We can pass this number variable within our HTTP request. We can hit OK. And if we now run, run once, you'll see call status change to called and we're receiving a phone call now. Decline that 
and there you have it. So you can easily integrate this Outbound 11 Labs caller with any CRM. So if you're using Replit, that is it for today. For those looking to use something like Engrok in VS Code, stick around, uh, we'll jump into that now. So if you're more familiar with something like VS Code, you can head over to the repository link in the description and you can fork this repo or clone it directly. We'll head into a new VS Code project and we'll run in terminal, get clone, our repository address and we'll make sure we CD into the project and all we have to do now is we'll install our dependencies by running npm install and similar to what we did over in Replit adding those secrets we need a .env file and we can make one by doing touch.env and this will create our environment file and as per the readme documentation here we know what keys and keys values we need we can copy these and now what we can do is we can go ahead and copy these credentials similar to what we did before and to mix it up a little i'll use a different 11 labs agent id here we'll use the one from last video uh, with the appointment booker so i'll go back over to 11 labs use it as our agent id here again our twilio sid copy paste copy paste and again our Twilio phone number, making sure it's formatted in E164 format. And there we have it. All we'll have to do now is we'll run the server again by node index.js. It's because I had those semicolons there, my bad. You'll see server listening on port 8000 we can launch a new terminal here to start our ngrok tunnel ngrok http 8000 and note that this script is hosted on port 8000 if you change this be sure to change it in the env file as well as our constant port down here and this url address is going to be our endpoint. If we go over to something like make or postman, what we'll have to do is now use that instead. And you'll see ngrok free app forward slash, very important you include this endpoint here, make outbound call, hit okay. And if I were to change that, change that back and launch this now. Call was successful and you were good to go. Perfect. So that is it today. For those still interested in what exactly the script is doing, I'll explain it a bit now. To explain quickly, we're obviously first loading in our environment variables here. We're checking if they exist. And then we are going to use Fastify to host our endpoints and our WebSocket connections. We'll run a quick health check to ensure our Fastify server is running. And we have a route here to handle incoming calls, so a different endpoint. So if you wanted to receive inbound calls, you would use your ngrok or replit endpoint here, forward slash incoming calls directly in the webhook address in Twilio. We're now also having our web socket endpoint here for handling those media streams from Twilio. So establishing our connection to 11 labs websocket here for real-time streaming some console logs here not too important mainly down here again our fastify endpoint for the outbound call which we're using twilio to create that call connecting to our 11 labs web socket starting that server on the port and there you have it guys. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, be sure to leave a like and drop a comment below. If you're looking to stay ahead of the voice AI curve, be sure to hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this. I upload weekly, plenty of value to come, but that is it for today guys. Until next week.